Hello and welcome to this new experiment on vacuum forming. Uh, it's a process which is highly used and recognized by the industry to do packaging, particularly of um, parts, plastic parts, etc. However, our interest is uh, sort of micro machining and microfabrication. So, therefore, uh, in this particular aspect also, we can actually vacuum form plastic sheets into devices which can be used for microfluidic applications. So, I am going to now illustrate the basic process that how. Uh, the vacuum forming can be done and then later on demonstrate one uh, example of forming okay which uh, would typically mean to take a uh, plastic sheet of uh, abs and uh, then trying to heat it to its forming temperature okay so the basic idea here is that supposing there is a very complex mold which you want to cover with plastic in the interest of packaging this and you can see here this is the 4i laboratory written on a rapid prototyped part uh, which has been done using um, you know another plastic uh, uh, ABS plastic through the RP machine okay and so basically we want to uh, create a situation where we want to package this using another uh, plastic so this right here is the controller for this machine and uh, the way to switch it on is basically create the main power inlet into the system by turning on this MCB following by you can see there is an auto and manual option the controller can be taken into both modes we are going to do manual here so we just put it towards the manual side and then go to the next step heater and try to switch on the heater which uh, brings in the uh, signals in all the different heating zones okay so this heater is actually controlling the unit right here which is actually an infrared heater with set of elements which are all round and these are going to provide uniform heating to this sheet later on as this heater is going to come exactly over this sheet and it's going to heat this sheet all the way to its forming temperature so that it becomes uh, uh, you know it becomes in a plastic flow state and can actually with vacuum be pulled into a complex uh, architecture which has been placed in between in this particular uh, sheet so after doing this heater on we can actually switch on the vacuum pump okay uh, a certain vacuum pressure to be put in particularly in this unit which would be able to uh, uh, take this sheet which is in the plastic state now and try to uh, form it over the surface that we are concerned with. So, this right here is the ABS plastic sheet which is going to be heated to the forming temperature so that it can form around the particular part creating the packaging. What we have to do here is to put this sheet right in this particular position and you can see here right here that there is a rubber packing which is there to actually create a good seal between the sheet and this uh, this plastic sheet and the metal body okay and what we are also going to so therefore you know the idea is that this goes over that particular region which would actually vacuum pull and we need the vacuum to not leak okay so therefore this right here is the rubber seal for that there is also a uh, clamp here which goes down all the way to this uh, to grab the sheet over this particular uh, you know rubber packing or casing which is there and then you can actually uh, fit this sheet tightly over the top of uh, the the system now you can ensure that as the sheet would this uh, this table would come up the, with the workpiece and come all the way here there would be a proper sealing of the vacuum between the table and the top portion of the plastic sheet okay so once this is done now we are we have mounted the cover which is going to be formed we have also mounted uh, the sample in the state so there are two samples here as I showed you this uh, sample is going to be uh, embedded within this uh, or the package within this uh, particular uh, material so I'm going to put this sample uh, in in this manner okay uh, right here and uh, there is another sample which I would like to just demonstrate because the question of micro uh, machining comes so basically this is a aircraft fuselage this has also been developed with rapid prototyping system and we are going to package both of them together okay at a single go so i'm going to put this uh, 4i laboratory inside and then i'm going to just put this aircraft fuselage you can see this is the fuselage okay again parallel to this so that you can see the resolution at which this forming process can happen or take place okay so i'm going to just uh, align this properly and uh, put the aircraft fuselage just along with this uh, tab written with 4i lab okay 
So once this is done now, we are set with the work sample on the work stage. We are also set with the uh, the forming sheet, the ABS sheet, uh, and we have duly clamped it. We have ensured that the vacuum doesn't escape. And now we start the system on for the forming process to happen. Coming back to this controller now, we have to now turn on the heater. Okay, so there is a switch you can see here for the heater. So as soon as the heater is on, you can see that uh, the stage actually brings the heater all the way to this particular sheet. And then we want to see, and you can actually see inside, if you go inside, it's very difficult for the camera, but the wrinkles are disappearing in the sheet. And if it is fully wrinkle free in that event, what we want to do is to sort of uh, hit this particular table and uh, take this particular uh, heater back at the same time. Okay, so we just hit this table on and take this heater all the way back and as you can see here, the moment it has come, you just turn on the vacuum so that the ABS plastic sheet now has formulated completely over these two features so that you have a proper packaging of the system as such and there is no vacuum leakage between the same. You can see this particular part as well as this particular part has been fully packaged with the system. The idea of this particular forming process is that if the feature size is very small, let's say for example in the case of micro channels, we want to build uh, the channel out of um, some kind of a you know plastic sheet, let's say acrylic sheet with laser machining etc. We can easily use the secondary plastic, this ABS plastic to be vacuum formed over those molds so that we can eventually formulate these channels. So what we are going to do is there is a switch on this controller right here for the fan. So this switches on the fan so that you know there is a heat transfer because of force convection and there is a removal of the uh, heat so that the surface temperature of this particular ABS plastic comes down. And once this is done what we can do is basically uh, use this particular emergency switch to actually create small pressure blows so that we can remove this particular acrylic sheet out of this uh, structure after which we do the vacuum off okay and then we try to take this table down once more so the table goes all the way down here and you can see now that this is a well formed structure formulating out of this particular uh, objects and the sheet beautifully formulated thus packaging these objects within the uh, stage. I can actually uh, remove the structures okay, from this particular sheet and I can have, I will show you the formulation later on once this has been done. So all this has come down and uh, if we remove this particular sheet here, okay, I can see that this is a well formed sheet over the structure. Uh, that has been formulated. So this is how you do the whole vacuum forming process. So you can see the two forms right here. This is the packaging of the 4i laboratory. This uh, again is the packaging of that particular uh, uh, fuselage of the aircraft. We have just kept it for representational purposes. And the idea here is uh, that very small features can also be very well formed with this particular method. Okay, and uh, in future we have a scope of doing microfluidics using this particular sheet itself which is uh, formulated in terms of or in, in shapes and sizes of micro channels okay? and then we can inject through these sheets and puncture these sheets very easily through syringe needles and so we are soon going to bring out a module where we can show how these microfluidic channels are uh, drawn by such vacuum forming processes. So as you can see this particular feature right here, this is that uh, fuselage feature is comprised of various different shapes and sizes, contours, edges which are even thin and so the idea is that the process is capable of doing forming across such, as, such edges and this is itself a very uh, big uh, uh, you know um, it gives a lot of it says a lot of things about the process capability of such system. So in a nutshell vacuum forming here although is used major in the majority of the cases for packaging uh, can also be used for uh, creating micro devices and micro features okay and uh, this is a very useful tool uh, which is going to provide some of the very uh, amenable uh, disposable kind of plastic systems which can handle micro flows within small domains. Also one more important thing that I would like to mention here is that once this heat sheet is heated to a certain structure and supposing you want to uh, uh, by any chance you have committed an error 
and you want to just reuse this particular sheet. So, there is an option which is available if you just do not remove the sheet at that particular instance from the machine itself and uh, you just heat the formulated sheet or the formed sheet again with a set of heaters. There are a few cycles up to which the sheet can sustain itself. Uh, only thing you have to see inside is that the wrinkles are totally eliminated because the next uh, before the next round of forming operation starts to take place. So, in a way it is a reusable plastic making amenable the ABS plastic sheet which formulates a cover material in this case to be reused many times up till it achieves its uh, 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 you know uh, because of repeated plastic flow probably the sectional thickness comes to uh, a level where there can be failure. Okay. So, before the sheet has hit that particular thickness which is also called the failure thickness you can reuse the sheets again and again for doing this forming process. So, the whole vacuum forming unit consists of three different components one is uh, or three different modules. One is this main forming unit which is uh, comprised of a series of infrared heaters okay, which is just underneath this uh, box here. The box is capable of movement. So, it comes and slides along the guide rails all the way to the top of this particular area. It also comprises of a clamp where you can open and close this clamp which can actually be used to clamp the plastic sheet to the machine. There is in fact a spacer which actually determines that there is complete vacuum retention when the uh, the vacuum pressure is introduced. There is a work table on this particular sheet which is having small holes through which the vacuum can surpass and the idea is to pull the sheet after heating it to the forming temperature. So, that it sits on the top of these small objects. This is one unit. The other unit here is the controller set which is used to drive this unit here for its different operations like heated temperature control, heated timer on, process can be automatic or manual. So, there is an option uh, where you can actually program the process for a few minutes of heating. Typically, the heating time which is needed for ABS plastic that I will be demonstrating later on is close to about uh, one, one and a half minutes and the way you see it is also to when, when the plastic is being heated you will see the wrinkles appear and then they disappear meaning thereby the plastic has come into its totally uh, you know a flow state and uh, this is also known as the forming temperature of the material. Okay. Uh, there is a fan unit here which is used in case the plastic has been fully formulated over the surface to cool down rapidly. So, you can have forced convection which will cool down the plastic which has been formed and there is a compressor set right here which is also a part of this module because uh, you need to generate um, a sort of vacuum level for feeding this uh, machine so that you can have uh, vacuum assisted forming. Okay. So, in fact this whole th unit comes in these three parts the main unit the controller and the, the compressor. 